So what's so interesting about neutrinos is that neutrinos are not behaving the way that we actually expect. We have the standard model, and the standard model tells us how we expect particles to behave. It gives us our predictions. And the neutrinos are departing from prediction. And once you see one departure from prediction, it makes a lot of sense to look and see if there are other departures. And in particular, we're very interested in the question of whether there are more neutrinos than what we expect based on what the standard model tells us. And if there are these neutrinos, then we know for sure that they don't interact in the same way as the neutrinos that we've seen and we know and we love through their interactions. So because they don't interact in the same way, we call them sterile. So they're called sterile neutrinos. And uh, they're very difficult to see because they are non-interacting neutrinos, but you can actually have them morph from one type of neutrino to another type of neutrino. They can show up in this morphing. And IceCube is the perfect place to look for this, it turns out.